It's a beautiful autumn day here in South Delta. So I went for a ride and I thought I might do a quick video on vibration. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask in the comments section if the W vibrates and if it does, is it particularly intrusive or annoying? So in terms of if it vibrates, it does a bit. It's a 360 degree crank. So you're going to get a little bit of vibration just because of that particular uh, firing order. Um, in terms of where you experience it, uh, in the rev range where you experience it, is between three and 4,000 RPM. Below that, you don't notice anything, or I don't. Above 4,000, it smooths out quite nicely. Uh, where you experience it physically, I notice it mostly in the foot pegs, not so much in the handlebars or in the hand grips, and a little bit in the tank, if I have my knees up against the tank. In terms of whether it's intrusive or not, um, on a scale of 0 to 10, I'd give it a 2. If you were on the bike for hours without brake, you might notice it a little bit more, but then again, normally people riding these kind of bikes aren't on them for hours at a time. Um, so overall, I don't personally find vibration issue. I actually don't mind. It reminds me I'm riding a motorcycle, which is part of the experience. Um, it certainly wouldn't prevent me from buying the bike again or recommending to other people to buy the bike. Uh, I think it adds to the character of the bike. And again, it's not particularly intrusive. It's just there enough to remind you that you are riding something um, mechanical. Anyway, I hope that helps for folks who had questions or were interested in how vibration manifests itself in the W. And uh, thanks for watching.